Now we're going to talk about pixels in CSS. The shorthand for pixel is PX. And what a pixel is, it's a tiny little dot on your screen. Your screen is made up of millions of dots. And together, these dots form the very image that you're looking at right now. One tiny dot is one pixel, two dots are two pixels, and so on. And this is how we measure things on a screen, similar to how in the real world we measure things in meters or inches. In the digital world, we use pixels. And here's a quick example. Say that we want to take our H2 tags and make all of them 50 pixels. Well, first we have to write that CSS rule. So we write our selector. We know we want to style our h2 tag 50 pixels. Let's actually write a comment. Style or h2 tag 50 pixels. So we know our selector is going to be h2. We have our open and curly brace and our closing curly braces. And we know we want the property a font size and we want it to be 50 pixels because we want to change your font size font size and 50 we don't type up the word pixels we just write px the shorthand and then our semicolon we're going to save command s preview and let's give it a color red so we can actually see the changes and boom, there we go. And again, I want to encourage you now to start using the Chrome Inspector tool. So we're going to right click and hit Inspect. And we see our font size is now 50 pixels. What about 100 pixels? It will be very large. You can change it in increments of 10. You can make it very small. And this is great, again, to confirm your intuition of how big you want your designs to look or how high or how wide. The inspector tool is great for this. We can even copy and paste the CSS rule right over here and hit Save, Command S, Control S on Windows, Reload, and it saves.